by Simon White, Bloomberg Markets reporter and analyst equities owned by upper middle income. Households in the U.S. are at increasing risk of liquidation as this group feels the cost of living crisis ever more acutely. The pandemic saw many new precedents set. Never before had we seen economies switched off at the mains, nor such government largesse to deal with the fallout but the after effects are not being spread equally. It is those in the upper middle income groups, annual household income of about $70,000 to $200,000, who are seeing the greatest relative rise in debt. Repayments who are experiencing losses on portfolios and pensions as financial assets fall in. Price have sizable mortgages compared to their net worth are seeing the slowest wage growth yet who often fail to qualify for much in the way of government support this has earned them the sobriquet of the squeezed middle, and they have plenty of equities available to sell. The main economic impact of the pandemic was an historic rise in savings driven by fiscal stimulus and a collapse in consumption. But after the feast, the famine, and savings are falling across all income groups. The Fed estimates that excess savings, the cumulative sum of savings relative to trend from the beginning of 2020, has fallen 26% in a year to $1.7 trillion. Yet it is by drilling down we see that the economic stress is not being spread evenly, and it is those in the middle to upper income groups that are experiencing the most hardship relative to their recent history. These groups are seeing excess savings built up through the pandemic eroded most quickly. Savings is disposable income net of consumption and non-mortgage interest payments. Disposable income is falling and the fall is most marked in higher income groups. Higher income groups are also spending less, but this is explained by the greater proportion of richer households expenditure being services based and many services that were foregone in the pandemic do not need to be replaced you don't need an extra haircut or yoga class for the one you missed despite this middle income households are seeing the most stress on their savings bank deposits rose sharply through the pandemic as government stimulus was mainly paid into household checking accounts but recently, bank deposits have been falling. This has been driven by a fall in savings. Deposits, mainly of middle-income households. Furthermore, the fall in savings deposits is greater than the rise in checking deposits, so this is more than a straight transfer of money from savings to checking accounts.